conditional probability, total probability, grade 12, GS, LS, and ES. In a factory, there are three machines, A, B, and C, that manufacture shirts. The total production is 2,000 shirts. Machine A produces 20% of the total production. Machine B produces 30% of the total production. Machine C produces 50% of the total production. Each machine may produce a defective or a non-defective shirt. Out of the items produced by A, we have 5% are defective. Out of the items produced by B, we have 4% defective. And out of the items produced by C, we have 5% defective. Consider the events. First, we choose at random one shirt. Consider the events A, the piece is manufactured by A, B, the chosen piece, that is the chosen shirt, is produced by B, C, it is produced by C, D, the selected piece is defective. Make a pause for the video and try to complete this table. Now, how we get these numbers from the table? How we get this number from the table? For example, I will start with 400. How we get 400? Here, we have the 20% are from A. So 20% and 20 divided by 100, 0 0.2. We multiplied it by the total, which is 2,000. So we get 400. Similarly, from machine B, we have 30%. 30%, we multiply 0 0.3 by 2,000, we get 600. And here we have 50% are from C. We multiply 0 0.5 by 2,000, we get 1,000. Now, how we get this number 20? From machine A, we have 5% are defective. 5% are defective. So we write 0 0.05 multiplied by 400, we get 20% are defective. 20% are defective. So 400 minus 20, we get 380. Similarly, here we have 4% are defective. We multiply 0 0.04 times 600, we get 24%, and similarly, we get here 50. Now, calculate the probability of A intersect D, probability of B intersect D, and the probability of C intersect D. Probability of A intersect D. A are 400. The defective are 94. The items that are from A and that are defective, they are 40. So, probability of A intersect D equals 20 over 2,000, which is 1 over 100. Now, Probability of B intersect D, probability of B intersect D equals 24 over 2,000 
which is the 3 over 250. Probability of C intersect D equals 50 over 2000, which is 1 over 40. Calculate the probability that the item is defective. The total number of defective are 94, so probability of D equals 94 over 2000, which is 47 over 1000. Calculate the probability that the chosen shirt is produced by A, given that it is defective. So here, we want to find a probability of A slash D. The condition is that the item is defective. The total number of defective items is 94. And out of these 94 items, we want the item to be defective. So we get 20 over 94. Calculate the probability that the chosen shirt is produced by A, given that it is not defective. The total number of not defective items is 1906, and we want the item to be from A, so the answer is 380 divided by 1906, 1906 which is 190 divided by 953. Now, we want to solve this question by another way, by using the tree diagram. How we set the tree diagram, which is the objective of this video. We have three machines, machine A, machine B, and machine C. Now, machine A produces, machine A produces zero, 20% of the items, so the probability that the item is from A is 0 0.2. Machine B produces 30% of the production, so probability of B is 0 0.3, okay? Machine C produces 50%, so probability of C is 0 0.5. Now, from A, some items are defective, so we write D slash A. Why D slash A? Because these items are defective, not from the total, from A only and some items are not defective. Similarly, in B, some are defective and some are not defective, and also in C. In A, we have 5% are defective. Because 5% is the percentage of defective from A only, not from the total of the factory, it is only from machine A. So, probability of D slash A is 0.05. Now, if 5% are defective from A, so the non-defective from A are 95%. So, probability of D bar slash A is 0.95. Now, the defective from B are 4%. So probability of D given B is 0 0.04, and the non-defective from B are 96%. So D bar slash B is 0 0.96. Similarly, D slash C is 0 0.05, and D bar slash C is 0 0.95. So we arranged the data in three diagrams. This is the tree diagram. Now, we want to calculate the probability of A intersect D, but in another way without using the table as we did before. Probability of A intersect D, we apply the rule. It is probability of D slash A times the probability of A. 
probability of D slash A is 0.05, and the probability of A is 0.2, so we get 0.2 times 0.05, which is 1 over 100. Probability of B intersect D equals, according to the rule, probability of D slash B times the probability of B, so 0.3 times 0.04, which is a three over 250 probability of C intersect D also, it is the probability of D slash C times the probability of C, which is 0 0.05 times 0 0.5. So always when we multiply this number by this number, we get the probability of A intersect D. Now, calculate probability of D. Calculate probability of D. Look to this circle. The, uh, the red color represent the factory C, the yellow color represent factory B, and green color represents the factory A. Now, some items are defective. These defective items, which is uh, denoted by this shaded area, some of them are from C, and some of them are from B, and some of them are from C. So probability that the item is defective is probability that this item is defective and it is from A plus probability of the item is defective and it is from B plus probability of the item is defective and it is from C. All these three probabilities are calculated before. So we get the probability of D equals 47 over 1000. This rule is called the total probability. The total probability. Calculate the probability that the, I will write also the three. Calculate the probability that the chosen shirt is produced by A given that it is not defective. First, we want to calculate, this is part five, sorry. Part four, calculate the probability that the chosen shirt is produced by A given that it is defective. So here I am calculating probability of A slash D. We know that the probability of A slash D can be calculated by concept or by the rule. Here we will apply the rule. Probability of A slash D equals probability of A intersect D over probability of D. Probability of A intersect D is calculated before and the probability of D is calculated before so the answer is 10 over 47. Number five, calculate probability that the chosen shirt is A, given that or knowing that it is not defective. So we want to find the probability of A slash D bar. We apply the rule. It is A intersect D bar over probability of D bar. In part four, probability of A intersect D and the probability of D, both of them are calculated in the previous parts. Here, neither the numerator nor the denominator is calculated before. Probability of D bar equals one minus probability of D. So it is one minus 0 0.047. Now, probability of A intersect D. Similarly, as we calculate before, a probability of A intersect D. How we calculate probability of A intersect D? It is probability of D slash A times probability of A. So probability of A intersect D bar in a similar way equals probability of D bar slash A times probability of A, which is 0 0.95 times 0 0.2 then probability of A slash D bar equals 190 over 253.